Hello there, my name is Kit Rackley, my pronouns are they, them, and this is Coffee and Geography. The aim of the show is to get to know, explore, and celebrate the diverse and intersectional range of people on this rock we call home, and their love and passions of it. We'll find out why guests identify as geographers, and if they don't exactly, we'll have fun exploring all the myriad of ways that connects their life to geography. So, pour your favourite brew, get cosy and listen in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at CoffeeJogPot. Off we go. Hi everybody, this is the bizarrely labelled episode zero of the podcast. So, to explain, I'm a few recordings in now with my first set of guests and I'm really, really excited for you all to listen to those when they all start getting released next month. Um, But I thought I'd do a get to know the host episode as a preface to the podcast starting. So let me introduce myself. So I'm Kit and my pronouns are they them. I'm originally from Harlow in Essex, which is a town just north of London in the east of England here in the United Kingdom. And I moved to Norwich to do a degree in environmental science at the University of St. Anglia. And since then, really, I never looked back. I spent 13 years teaching geography at a high school outside of Norwich. And as well as doing other bits like helping to train student teachers, I kind of did some lots of stuff on the side as well. And so I still do a bit of that off and on today as I've had a couple of career changes since. I took a year out in 2017-18 to work in the United States of America. First with climate scientists at the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, in Boulder, Colorado. And then at the wonderful Exploratorium, which is a museum of science and technology and a visitor attraction in San Francisco. These posts and then a two-year role for a non-profit led me to work with world-leading climate scientists and academics. And this was attempting to take complex scientific processes and information and communicate it to students and members of the public. So now I work in higher education outreach with a bit of education freelancing on the side. I'm still pretty much a pest in the geography community, particularly to the geography teachers in the UK. Fortunately, they are a lovely bunch who put up with me, some of whom you'll get to meet in this podcast series. Right, okay, so that's my background, but what about some over a cup of tea or coffee small talk kind of things? Well... To help me with this, I thought I'd do uh, one of those silly little one like for one answer things on Twitter. And uh, there were 26 questions, but using a a random number generator, I'll answer three of those for you now. Um, If you really want to know the answer to all 26, I'll stick the link to the Twitter thread in the description. But I rolled this random number generator and I got 9, 12 and 16. So I'm going to answer those three questions for you now. What would your last meal be? So I really had a hard time with this question. Um, One of the best things that ever happened to me was meeting my my better half, my wife, who who loves to tweak around with recipes and try new things. And one of the things that I tasted for the very first time not long after meeting her was something called beer cheese soup using like a, a brown owl or an IPA or something as the base in the soup. And it is gorgeous absolutely amazing and you can tweak the taste on depending which kind of um, beer that you'd use and just some with some lovely golden crusty bread and of course the rest of the leftover beer for the meals tipple absolutely lovely what is your family ancestry so i actually tried to research my um ancestry uh, managed to go about six generations back I think um, but there's a point where where one of my ancestors like disappears off the census and then their children ends up living with their grandparents and and like theories about maybe you know the the child was a, an illegitimate child and had to move house or something happened to the both parents they died or just they just disappeared off the census so so who knows there there's a missing link there but um, one thing I have been managed to establish is that uh, my family especially on the Rackley side um, are all working class laborers and farmers from the Suffolk area and my great grandparents uh, moved down to East London and that's where my cockney background comes from my old China do you believe in aliens 
yes, I certainly do believe that there are aliens out there. Think about it in types of, I'm, I'm someone who loves statistics and loves data and love maths. So when I think about this in a, in a probability sense, you know, with billions of stars within billions of galaxies, then the probability um, that another alien well, another civilization out there exists is probably close to one. So it's very likely that there's another civilization out there. I think that's probably enough about me. If for some reason you find anything about me or my life interesting, I'll stick some links in the description of me engaging in various forms of self-indulgence. But what I will do in the spirit of what this podcast aims to do, I'll end this intro episode with a poem something I wrote for the geography community and I really hope it'll infuse you into subscribing to the podcast. Trust me, the guests are amazing. Thanks for listening and enjoy this poem. This is a story about compassion told by me. That's me on top of the world. Well, not literally. I'm a geographer, you see. A bit about me. I am altruistic, <laughs> for better and worse. Active, um, perhaps a little overactive. Overanxious often, and can be quite terse. And recently, a little lost. Well, okay, more than a little. I'm very sure of myself in some ways, and in others somewhat brittle, with a tendency to overthink things. I can feel alone. But I was holding up fine, really, until... <sighs> that happened. Suddenly, I was going nowhere under my own steam. No control of my emotion and my unmoored emotion left me to be swept away. Day after day, nothing. Joys detached, washed up but dragged back like part of the drift process, dispatched with the ubiquitous pebbles. I endeavoured to stay connected and even made new connections to fill the void. Perhaps too many connections? And oh, there's that feeling of being overwhelmed again. And this only seemed to fuel the summer convective thunderstorms. Anxiety turned back into the big D, leading me to be saturated, precipitate to depreciate my mind. But, <laughs> hey, as long as it's my reservoir filling up then, others will be okay. And I can continue to hide behind this screenplay. But community was not going to let that stand. Many were offering a helping hand, although drenched as me as they were engaged in toxic debate through the LCD lens. Together, however, we cleared the skies and found we can relate despite feeling alone under the stars. In this community, I found we are the stars, vast and far apart it may seem today, but still shining so brightly in situ for those satellites around them. Behind those twinkling lights are faces. Faces of joy, of passion, faces of resilience and determination. Minds and manners that generate wonder, thought and elation. Words of wisdom and fermented discussion. Rekindled my curiosity, dampened my fears. Refueled and ready to remind myself I too have a place amongst them. I can once again be on top of the world. Five, four, three, two, one. A community behind you makes you believe you can transcend, gives you perspective, a directive that's purposeful and meaningful. Layer that with geography and the world is yours to discover. A community that inquires, analyzes, evaluates, critiques, a community that respects, showcases, searches every landscape, troughs and peaks, culture and stories to be told orbit when we seek and speak with many and one voice. Interdisciplinary, 
I love that we are greater than the sum of our parts. I feel interconnected. We are interconnected in a time we need it most. I still at times feel saturated. I have those days. But I now have the capacity to feel saturated in a sea of intersectionality. We all take our own journey amongst the waves, experience of which we share between us and disseminate beyond us, passing on the wonder and joy we have for each other and the world around us. <sighs> Who knows what we spark? The next big idea? Or maybe the next best ally for one who may need a community to immerse themselves in. Our world needs community. Our world needs compassion. Geographers, we are on a mission. Now, we are not infallible, we are not perfect. I know I've dropped the ball sometimes, but that's okay. I know that you've got my back and I've got yours. I'm your ally and you are mine. Our community is beautiful. Our community is joyful. I know I'm not alone. I have a place. I am a geographer and we are compassionate. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you had fun. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe so more stories and experiences can drop into your favourite podcast app. If you fancy being a guest or have any feedback, follow us on Twitter at CoffeeJogPod and send us a DM. Or you could email coffeeandjog at geogramblings.com. Until next time, keep jogging.